I was shocked when I got the news. I was confused. I feel like there's a lot of things to be learned. Was the fatal stabbing of 23-year-old Marine Sergeant Daniel Martinez the Saturday of St. Patrick's Day weekend preventable? He had uh, such a love for his country that he took four years of his life to go serve. Manuel Martinez, the victim's father, described the boy who loved to play Army and loved his country. Nine months into civilian life while visiting an area Marine, he's murdered in Boston. Police say Alvaro La Rama, the bouncer at the bar, chased Martinez down Union Street after they exchanged words. The Sons of Boston allowed this person to work with a weapon at the door. Um, and the city found some other things as well, that there'd been altercations in the past where um, door staff threatened uh, patrons, threatened police. The city indefinitely suspended the bar's entertainment license, meaning no live entertainment. Tuesday, the Boston Licensing Board will review accusations the bar violated liquor licensing rules. And the Martinez family is ready for more discovery, monetary damages, to start a foundation to build the Marines' legacy. Hard to accept, but it's a reality of life. Um, dangers out there. There's evil people out there in this world. He makes us stronger every day, so here we are. Sons of Boston is open serving food and alcohol today. It's only appearance before the licensing board was in December of 2021 when the employee was accused of the threatening the police officer. Well, it was determined that it was a rogue employee and that person was immediately terminated.